story that also bubbled up a lot of the weekend, Peter. What is Donald Trump's counter to the pushback on the Wisconsin vote? Martha, the president-elect agrees that there were millions of illegally cast votes. He just thinks that it benefited the Democrats, and he thinks that the only thing all these illegal votes did was dent his margin of victory. So at the end of the long holiday weekend, the president-elect took to Twitter and he wrote this, quote, in addition to winning the electoral college in a landslide, I won the popular vote if you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally. And he said, quote, serious voter fraud in Virginia, New Hampshire, and California. So why isn't the media reporting on this serious bias, big problem? Mr. Trump also subtly swiped at all the Democrats who were knocking him for not winning the popular vote with this pair of tweets. He said, it would have been much easier for me to win the so-called popular vote than the Electoral College in that I would only campaign in three or four states. Instead of the 15 states that I visited, I would have won even more easily and convincingly, but smaller states are forgotten. Now, as for the talk about illegal voting, so far, Mr. Trump has not offered any concrete evidence that there were millions of illegally cast votes, but neither have the Clinton campaign lawyers who have joined up with this Wisconsin recount effort because they say they think there may have been outside interference aiding the president-elect. Martha? Going to keep you busy. Peter, thank you very much. More now on the recount, what it all means, what it's all about. John McCormack, senior writer for the Weekly Standard. John, how you doing? Good morning to you in Washington, D.C. Take you back to November 9th, the morning after the election, when Hillary Clinton said the following. We must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. So that was then. <laughs> What's up now? Uh, well, what the Clinton campaign is arguing is that, hey, we didn't file this recount petition. Jill signed it at the Green Party. and we're They just joined there. it. Uh, they joined it, exactly. So people, uh, I think uh, you might argue that, you know, the Clinton campaign is maybe hiding behind uh, a Jill, Sky, Jill, Jill Stein's skirt here. Uh, so I do think that the Clinton campaign, uh, you know, if they go out and they start suggesting that this that the vote was illegally hacked, I mean, there's no evidence for that whatsoever. Uh, but they do raise that possibility. They, they note that Russians uh, were involved in trying to influence the outcome of the election. But there is no evidence whatsoever uh, that the election was hacked. And it would take, you know, not only Wisconsin, but it takes Pennsylvania and Minnesota and Michigan to overturn the results in the Electoral College. Uh, Trump won Pennsylvania by nearly 70,000 votes, Michigan by about 10,000, Wisconsin by 30,000. And more to the point, they've already checked the paper ballots uh, with spot checks in uh, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. So if there were anything amiss, I don't see why that wouldn't have been caught already. Uh, here is the Wisconsin final tally. Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton by a percentage point, about 27,000 raw votes. And Jill Stein barely got more than 27,000. She used 30,980. Um, Republicans would argue what Democrats are trying to do is make Donald Trump look illegitimate even before he takes the oath of office, John. Well, certainly, and some people are guilty of that by suggesting things baselessly in the media, suggesting that there are statistical anomalies. Uh, there was a report in New York Magazine, actually, that kicked this all off, and the statistical analysis there was quickly debunked. If you actually look nationwide, uh, the statistics between, uh, you know, counties that use paper ballots and non-paper ballots, there, there really isn't much of a difference when you account for demographics. So I do think that people have to be aware uh, that they shouldn't be trying to undermine uh, the legitimacy of the vote, and that goes for everyone from the media uh, to Democrats, as well as uh, the president-elect, who has now gone out and said without evidence of his own uh, that there were millions of votes illegally cast. Two million votes, in fact. He says Jill Stein wants to raise money. By my count on Sunday morning, I think she had raised more than $6 million. Uh, there may be a point to that. John, thank you so much. Tom McCormack, analysis there from Washington, D.C. Thanks. Hey, Pat. Thank you.